Good morning, Church Online. I am so blessed to be sharing a devotion with you this morning. So, two weeks ago, I had to self-isolate for two weeks. I'm a doctor, so I was in contact with a patient who the next day came back as COVID positive. Now, I'd already isolated for three weeks in April, and I did not want to isolate for another two weeks. So I fought and I fought, but I had to isolate for two weeks. Now, how many people know that God does something planned when we have not planned things? And um, in my second week of isolation, I really felt strongly in my spirit that God wanted me to fast. Now, I'm not super holy or super crazy, but I knew the voice of God and I knew he was telling me to fast. So I decided to fast for three days. When it came to the third day, I felt like God was like, Rachel, I am not done doing what I'm doing in your life. Keep fasting. So I fasted and I fasted. And finally, on the end of the fifth day, I had peace to stop fasting. Now, I had no idea what I'd been fasting for. I just thought maybe God wanted to spend some time with me. I don't know. Um, but on the sixth day, after my fast had finished, I woke up and I felt different. I felt like a weight had been lifted off of my spirit and physically off of my body. And I didn't know what God had done, but I knew he did something. The following Monday, I went to work. Now, my job is probably one of the most highly stressful, highly pressurized jobs and environments. You have expectations from colleagues, from patients, and from your bosses. And um, I can often, as a junior doctor, feel a little intimidated by, uh, by some people that I go to work with. And on the Monday morning, walked into work, and I started speaking to one of my bosses. And as I was speaking, my mind was thinking, what? are you doing? How are you speaking so boldly to your consultant? And the whole day, I experienced a boldness that I had never experienced in my job before. I experienced a boldness with my colleagues, with my patients. There was no worrying about the validation from my consultant. There was no worrying about the validation from my patients or from my colleagues. I felt freedom like I'd never felt before. And as I was driving back from work, I felt like God dropped the word confidence in my head. And I felt the Holy Spirit say to me, I have birthed in you during your fast, new found confidence. Rachel, put your confidence in Jesus. And I cannot tell you the difference it has made in my life. God has given me confidence to be a better daughter, to be a better friend, to be a better sister, a better leader, a better doctor. And on the weekend, just a couple days ago, God prompted me to read Hebrews chapter 3. And this is what it says in verse 14. For we have become fellows with Christ the Messiah, and we share all he has for us. If only we hold our first newborn confidence and original assurance and stand firm and unshaken until the end. And I felt this morning, church, that God wanted me to encourage you to have newborn confidence in Jesus. Maybe your confidence lies in your own ability, in your family, in your job. God wants to ask you this morning, where does your confidence lie? And I want to encourage you that God wants you to put your first love, your first newborn confidence in Jesus. And I guarantee you, just like the scripture says, all he has for us will come to pass when our confidence our assurance, our boldness is in Jesus. My life has been forever changed over the last three weeks since God birthed new confidence in me. And I want that for you this morning too, church. So please, wherever you are this morning, ask the Holy Spirit to break the bondages of, of, of doubt and birth in your life new confidence. Be blessed, church, and walk in God confidence.